Hey, lady. Okay, before we dive into today's podcast, I have a very special gift for you. If you haven't utilized it already, I want you to head on over to my website at Heather Chauvin, spelled C-H-A-U-V-I-N dot com. And what you will see is I have a free gift for you. It's the five time-saving strategies that will help you feel lighter, more productive, and feel emotionally in control. All you have to do is click on the button that says, heck yes, send it to me, and I will send the first one to your inbox ASAP. You are not alone, and I'm really excited to share Sunday's episode with you about prepping for the week ahead. Another day, another podcast. Okay, it's Sunday, ladies. That means it is Sunday prep day. This is all about you planning your life in alignment with how you want to feel. So if you want to feel energized, alive, connected, you got to plan for it. It doesn't just randomly show up on your doorstep one day. You have to make conscious intention, um, commitment, and effort, 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 and devotion to your soul and becoming the best version of you so that you can raise these awesome human beings that um, have chosen you to walk them throughout this life. So every Sunday, um, I'm extremely intentional about my prep. So whether it's prepping food for myself and the family for the week, whether it's my lunches or our dinners, um, but this is the part that I teach about this, about energetic time management, is how do you want to feel? So the first thing that I do on my Sunday prep days is I brain dump everything. I think about the kids. I think about everything that's on my mind. I literally just dump it out on paper. I'll just like, it doesn't even need to make sense. I might be thinking about Christmas presents and it has nothing to do with Christmas. I just dump every single thought that I have on my mind, every single thing that I think I need to do, and I categorize it. Whether it's business, whether it's relationships, whether it is emotional health, physical health, whether it's kid-related, money, time, energy, I just dump it out, put it in little categories. The next thing I do is I ask myself, what specific actions do I need to take this week to feel in alignment with how I want to feel? Now, every day and every week when I continue to ask myself these questions, week after week, day after day, what happens is with these little micro action steps that you're taking, that you're planning, that you're acting on, you become more in alignment in your life. And when you do that, this is where the magic happens. This is where you stop yelling. This is where you feel more energized. This is when you catch yourself, you know, being more present with the kids, uh, working less, working smarter, not harder. So this is why Sunday prep is so, so essential. Right now, I'm using the Law of Attraction Planner, and you can get yours discounted if you go to my name, Heather Chauvin, spelled C-H-A-U-V-I-N dot com forward slash planner. The reason why I use this planner is one, because I'm all about the Law of Attraction and manifesting, but two, this is really about helping you manifest and feel in alignment in your life. And so when we're doing this on a deeper level, the magic that can unfold for us is, you know, we learn how to energetically raise our vibration on a daily basis to manifest how we want to feel. Another reason why I enjoy this planner specifically is because it reminds me of the passion planner, which is one that I used to use. And it has the daily, um, it has the hour by hour on the actual um, on the actual calendar. So it'll say, you know, like 1am, 2am, 3am, because this is one of the defaults that I think our brain tries to play tricks on us is our brain will constantly pretend like, Oh, I have enough time. I have enough time. Our brain is, has like no concept of time. So when you feel like you're rushing, it's because you're putting way too much on your plate. So if I actually know what I'm going to do that day, I will allot time for everything. So I allot time for my, you know, checking my, um, my email. I allot time for checking Instagram. I allot time for, um, for like the simple basic tasks that I do in my business. Um, I definitely am not like by the book, like super rigid with like, I'm doing things here or there, but what it does help me is take personal responsibility for how much time am I actually 
on social media? How many times did I actually check my email today? Like I don't need to check it 20 times a day. Um, you know, did I take action in alignment with my goals and how I want to feel? So again, after I dump it out, after I do a huge brain dump of everything that's on my mind for the kids, for business, for life, everything, I put this on my calendar and you have to look at your calendar and ask yourself, are these tasks in alignment with how I want to feel? So that is my Sunday schedule for you. Um, I know this is just kind of a quick overview of what I do, but being mindful that if you are not planning, you are planning to fail. And I know the next step is, of course, following through. It's not about the follow through, guys. It's about giving your, getting yourself in a habit with the intention to plan. Maybe the first week you're not like a pro at it, but that's okay, It's about getting in the habit of planning. Once you're in the habit of planning, then you can work on executing and then mastering and perfecting. But the point here is you got to start somewhere. And if you're not willing to start small, you're going to overcomplicate it and then you're going to get overwhelmed. So again, if you're not following me on Instagram, head on over to Mom is in Control, um, at Mom is in Control. That's who I am on Instagram. Send me your messages, like, follow, share. Um, Yeah, I always want to know, like, what questions do you have for me? I get a lot of DMs on Instagram, so head on over there. Uh, Like us on Facebook at Heather Chauvin. And just know that every time you share the podcast or review the podcast on Instagram, you are granting another woman an opportunity um, to maybe learn something new for herself that can drastically shift how she shows up as a woman in the world. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And know that you are very capable of achieving what you desire this week. Now plan it.